Freeze! Police! Police, don't move! You have the right to remain silent. What the? Freeze! Freeze! Oh, hey. Hey! Where are you going? To work. Looking like that. So? You're a cameraman. You look ridiculous. Go change. Okay. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. In last week's video, we went over many of the basic features of this new Berna LE, the most powerful Berna yet, up to 60% more powerful than all previous Berna models. And today we'll have a look at some solid ammo here that I personally think could be the most powerful and damaging for this launcher. Of course, as you know, the most effective ammo for this gun are actually the pepper balls it was mainly designed for. And it's not just simple pepper balls that are available out there. Berna, for example, produces a variety of irritant ammo, including these Max projectiles, which Berna says are crazy powerful, made of a mix of pepper and tear gas. Now, I've yet to find the courage to test these on myself, nor have I found a volunteer who's offered to be gassed up in the name of science. So for now, we'll have to take Berna's word for it. One of Berna's main slogans is that its launchers are legal in all 50 states. However, unfortunately, it seems that in some states, pepper balls are actually being banned. Anyway, today we'll put the pepper balls aside and we'll be checking out the effects of solid ammo made from a whole variety of materials. Starting off, of course, with Berna's lightweight Synetic projectiles uh, made of hard plastic. We've seen in last week's video how powerful these things are, just quite shocking. And then uh, one that a lot of you have asked for, uh, we've proven over and over that these are actually among the most powerful projectiles for any CO2 powered air gun out there, lightweight aluminum 68 caliber balls. And of course, these which are very, very common, for example, on Amazon, these are rubber steel balls by a brand called ASIL Selling. Excellent projectiles. It's been a while since I've shot them, but uh, when I did in the past, they've always made incredible damage. We are going to now weigh everything. Um, hey, you know you're doing good on YouTube when you can buy yourself a golden <laughs> scale. I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's uh, weigh them really quick so we can calculate the joules power. Let's start with the Berna kinetic projectiles. These should be right under three grams. They weighed 2.9 last time. 2.9. Let's test another one. 2.9. Up next are ASIL selling steel rubber balls. These are the S type. Again, very, very powerful. They're obviously going to be much heavier than your kinetic rounds by Berna. And in fact, 6.8 grams, 6.9, so right under, 6.8 again, right under seven grams. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go slightly heavier onto the aluminum balls. I have two different versions. Uh, these are from Home Defense 24. Uh, these are just regular bottom Amazon. I don't even know who makes them. However, they all do indeed have the same weight. As you can see, I shot the can <laughs> by accident once and sure did some damage there. So 7.3, let's try one of the, one of uh, Home Defense 24s, 7.3. Now, as I always do in my CO2 powered air guns, I will be changing CO2 cartridge uh, before every single test. Um, just a reminder that Berna has a unique system to activate the CO2 cartridge. So 
as always, you can stick in your 12 gram CO2 cartridge in the burnout without dropping everything. Neck first, uh, you then close it. Now there's two things I want to say. The first thing is that Berna does indeed make CO2 12 gram cartridges, something I did not know before. And they come in this 10 uh, pack or 10 box right here. Um, what's important to note is that if you're not careful and you don't know, um, one of these cartridges, which will be this one right here, is actually an oil cartridge. So there's no longer need to be spraying uh, gun lube or silicone oil, um, but every nine cartridges, every time you, you, you go through a box, you should keep this oil one, and this will be the one who kind of lubes up the interiors of your gun. And of course, Berna has two systems of uh, arming the gun or piercing the CO2 valve, uh, or a cartridge rather. If you're in an extreme hurry, in an emergency, uh, this gun is, is actually the, one of the best uh, among its peers. Uh, so if you're in an extreme emergency, all you have to do is remove the gun from the safe and shoot the shot. Uh, what that will do is will pierce the CO2 cartridge and shoot the first projectile at the same time. However, that first shot is gonna be a lot weaker than the ones to come. We will in fact see that in the chrono test upcoming. Uh, the other way, if you want all shots to be power, full powered, and again, this, sh this gun here shoots seven rounds. If you want all seven rounds to be at full power, well then you can, you leave it on safe, you pull the trigger, which will only pierce the CO2 cartridge, then you remove the safe and you start shooting and at that point, each shot will be at full power. So for today's test, we'll start off with a chronograph test to measure the speed of the projectiles in feet per second, and finally, the joules power. Passing on to, of course, the coconut challenge. And finally, we'll test all three of our projectiles against this ballistic gel, Kentucky Ballistics T-Rex. All right, folks, let's finally start calculating the speed and power of these things. We'll start off with Berna's kinetic projectiles. Um, these are the lightest weight, as we've seen. They weigh 2.9 grams. Um, we will be putting them through the chronograph, measuring the speed in feet per second, and ultimately the joules power of each shot. Um, I'm going to shoot this in the emergency uh, mode, which is remove the safe and pull the trigger immediately, which again will shoot that first shot and pierce the, valve, the, the, the CO2 cartridge at the same time. Again, that first shot should be uh, weaker than the following ones, but we will see all that right now with the chronograph. Unfortunately, there were some error messages there, but decent speeds. We saw that first shot was half the speed, of course. Um, let's see, good penetration into the recycled plastic water jug. Uh, no sign of anything on the other side, no denting. Uh, so yes, they did indeed penetrate, but not all the way. And up next, these rubber steel balls. As we said, they weigh a little under seven grams. Very powerful ammo. Hmm. Well, 
it seems like this gun does not like this ammo. Already in the loading process, I felt like they were not going in too smoothly. It's like almost if they were sticky. So I guess the spring is not pushing them up enough. We do have one stuck in the chamber. Hmm. All right, let's try again. That first shot was very, very weak, 75 feet per second. So let's try again. Yep, the ammo would not. Hmm. Oh well, I don't want to break anything, so I think we'll stop trying with these ASO selling uh, rubber steel balls, which work amazingly in revolver style CO2 guns like the HDR 68, works amazing in the HDB 68, uh, HDX 68, all by Umarex. So, by all means, these are great, great projectiles, however, uh, not so good for the Berna LE. So let's try those aluminum ones. Now these loaded way easier, very, very smooth loading. loading. And of course, uh, we'll be putting in a fresh CO2. With these aluminum balls, we did see some denting on the back side, so definitely more power there with these. aluminum balls versus hard Dominican Republic coconut. Well, I guess you don't need me to explain anything. All right, folks, back to Berna's kinetic rounds. Last week, we obliterated the coconut. Let's see what happens this week. Again, we'll be piercing the, the cartridge and start shooting at full power. Look at that. Okay, not our usual obliteration like last week's, for example. Uh, we definitely did a bigger number with the uh, aluminum ones, but we did go through that outer, really hard Dominican Republic coconut outer um, skin. You know what? I'm not satisfied. I want to shoot this six more times. Oh, the satisfaction. All right, so 
14 rounds, two magazines of these kinetic projectiles by Berna. Ended up finally getting deep into this coconut and we are finally happy. Let's uh, put them side by side. Aluminum versus plastic. All right, once again, a big thank you to Clear Ballistics for supporting this channel by supplying really awesome ballistic gel figures. Uh, today, once again, we'll be shooting this Kentucky Ballistic T-Rex 3D gel target. Um, I shot this last week with uh, pellet PCP uh, pistols, so there is some tiny uh, wound channels made by pellets. Uh, however, this thing is absolutely intact, reusable. So we're gonna shoot it now with our big 68 caliber balls and see what kind of damage we will make on this very, very solid ballistic gel T-Rex. Well folks, every single shot has bounced against me, so I'm gonna stop because that hurt and there's no point, is there? And great, the ricochet. Oh. Anyway, I have these things insured for a reason, so it shouldn't be too costly, but indeed it is a big pain in the ass. Folks, I'm gonna quit this video here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video. And I'll see you at the next one.